back to the watercolor studio now then christmas it's coming on very fast it's soon going to be here and i don't know if any of you are like me but it's very very tough each year to think about what i want to buy people as gifts so today i want to have a bit of fun i want to show you a couple of ideas so let's roll the intro and let's see what we do Hi guys and a very warm welcome back now as I said just now Christmas really is coming to us very very fast and it seems to get quicker every year that goes by but I don't know if any of you are like me at this time of year when you sort of start racking your brains as to what you might buy people your loved ones your family your friends what gifts would they like have they already got it do they even want it it becomes a bit of a headache and um, yeah I, I sort of I'm in that stage right now and then it suddenly dawned on me that you know we are creative people we are artists we have it in our makeup in our inside that we can create our own wonderful uh, gifts our special handmade gifts that mean so much to the individual who are receiving them I know when I'm in the gallery and I sell an original card to somebody one that I've painted that they really fall in love with I know how that becomes very special to them and in the same way it, it so sort of, I suddenly realized that you know instead of going out and spending lots of our hard-earned money on uh, commercial Christmas cards and uh, certain presents and things like that that we could actually sit here and make our own ones and today that's what I really wanted to do I wanted to go through um, maybe doing something like uh, I don't know book book token not book tokens sorry bookmarks things like that and maybe if you're one of my patrons watching this later on I'm gonna carry on the video and do uh, some different greetings cards all original all made by me and equally you can do the same thing too and then you can give those out to your family your friends and those are special presents they don't have to be purchased from one of these well-known uh, sites online sites where you just order it and it comes and you give it to them it's something I don't know there's something lost in all of that I think that when you sit down and you have a, a, a spare piece of paper a spare bit of time and you can sit and create something that is holy from you and then you can give that with all the love and the intent in the world it means so much to the person who is receiving it so that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna have a go at. I'm gonna see how we get on I'm gonna do a few bookmarks for you just to see they're gonna be on the abstract side of things I'm gonna do a couple of those I let you into a little secret I've already done this once today I filmed the whole lot and I'll show you at the end what the uh, outcome was but unfortunately as I filmed it with absolutely no sound it was my mess up but there you go it's a lesson learned I'm I'm gonna go and do it all again they're gonna be very different which is not a bad thing so I'm gonna get on with doing some um, some uh, book tokens I said that again didn't I book markers that's it and I'm gonna do a few um, cards original cards for Christmas for my patreon members at the end of this so they'll see that as well all right so let's get on and let's see how it all turns out okay so for this demonstration I'm using some what's little left of my pad this is a 12 by 9 block it was a block once upon a time there are now only a couple of sheets left on this block and as a block itself it's sort of disintegrated into mayhem a long time ago but that's enough of that for now but the paints I'm using my normal palette I've wetted them up with a spray bottle so that they're nice and soft and moist and I'm going to do uh, just a few markers now I did look online I've never made any uh, of these types of things in the past they are something new to me so I'm just gonna measure off I, I sort of having researched it online they tend to be two inches across so let's just get that right two inches four six 
8, 10, and just under 12. That'll probably be just about get away with that. And similarly here, we're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So that gives me six pieces of paper, albeit joined at this time, six bookmarks. I didn't get it wrong that time. I did say bookmarks. The six bookmarks that we can design and play with. Now I'm going to do two sheets. The first sheet is going to be predominantly one uh, abstract painting, as you've seen me do in previous videos, with a, a wintry theme to them. And that one will be cut up. So in other words, I'm trying to do one scene that will be sliced up across the whole thing. Now, if you're selling these like I will be in my gallery at some point, you're going to not really want them all on show at the same time. The reason I'm doing that is that these come about two by eight inches. A little bit of um, excess at the bottom there, not a problem. You could, in fact, um, turn it this way up, paint to the bottom, and leave this top section if you wanted to. As a bit of a dedication area, you could actually you know, write the person's name. Let's do that. Let's do that. That is different to what I did earlier when I filmed. So let's leave those top bits blank and then we'll have basically a two inch wide by nine inch deep bookmark, but we will take it color wise on this. So the first one is going to be uh, where I do, as I would traditionally do, a painting across the whole thing and I will then cut this down. And what I was trying to say was, if this was on sale, I wouldn't want all of these in line because, you know, it's going to obviously become um, clear to somebody that I have actually just literally painted a picture across this page and sliced it up into the correct amount of um, sizes, etc. The next one I do will be six, but individual ones. So hopefully that will make a little clearer sense. Colors I'm using out of my palette today, I'm going to use a lot of indigo and I'm just going to play around with the ideas. A little bit of orange, you can tell from where I was working earlier today. A little bit of Payne's Gray in there. You can see it's almost the same color. Not quite, but almost. All right, I'm going to leave that go across there like that. I'm trying to think in my head as I go, sort of Christmassy, but not so much Christmassy, but wintry, I think is the word I'm looking for. Wintry scenes, winter landscape looks, and that's really what we're doing here. I want somebody to look at this and think, oh yeah, that's cold, that's winter, <laughs> and, and I will be happy at that. So I'm trying to create lots of different little subtle color transitions. I'm going to put a bit of orange in this, the bottom of this one now. I'm going to have to put in a little bit of a um, piece of wood just to keep this off of there. But then that's better. Now I can actually see this part of the painting. All right, so let's carry on.
The idea of this now is to let it dry and once it's dry it will dry lighter you'll see the the uh, beauty of what all the work that you have done i can't sign them yet because this is just way too wet to do that with the thing is now that um you could dry it really fast with a hair dryer i would err uh, against that and and not do that reason being that this is wet the paint is in there and it's still moving this will keep moving until the paper is dry until the water has evaporated out and the paint can move no further if however you do use a hair dryer you will arrest any of that you could be losing out some beautiful subtle transitions little bits of color here and there and i feel that by doing it um yeah, I, I use a hairdryer a lot when I'm filming for you guys, purely and simply because I don't have the luxury of that time. All right, job, job. There is six new bookmarks for the market or as gifts as you desire. I'm going to put them to one side and I'm going to get this piece down. I think there's only one sheet on here now. I'm sure of that. So we're going to make use of this last sheet. And I'm going to measure up the same as I did just now. But this time I would like to make them as individual. So now this is going to take a little bit more thinking about, a little more planning. I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to put in a big lump of water there. You can see it if, you, if I held that up. You can see where that is. And that's going to start drifting down. What I'm going to use is a bit of paint that's still on here from the last one. Now that's hardly conducive to absolute uh, snowy conditions, is it? So let's come back in. Let's put in a much darker blue color in the value of indigo like that That suggests that I think I don't want to do too much to this I'm getting to the point where I really am enjoying what's happened and I think I'm gonna leave it there I love it I think it makes a very exciting little abstract and it is very suggestive of a landscape as this one is now the thing is that you have obviously as I said before when I did the first one this was done from one picture and it will be cut up but each I hope will be a little bit more individual as we go these ones are wholly independent of each other they are not being completed with one following to the next as it were now what I'm going to do with this next one I'm going to bring here I'm going to come all the way down through here probably the next two but I'm going to come down like that and I'll put a little bit of paint up through here as well I'm going to be a bit careful with this one because what I'm going to do is one toe in reality I'm gonna put in a blue sky like that
I'll be careful again because I don't want to um, mess up. I'm going to put in a little bit, getting rid of some of the colour off there, I don't want to put the wrong colour down. So here I'm going to put in a little bit of my um, Payne's Grey this time. I'm going to put that in as a broody sky. You know how we get that sort of clouds with full of snow in them. And I quite like the idea of this one. I've got to be a little bit careful. I'm going to bring it to the edge, but not where that blue is. So just being a little bit careful here. Bring that down. And then we get the same idea again, that same accent of blue colour. I might just tap in just a bit of alizarin in there because you know you get that little warm glow into these clouds. So I'm going to put a little bit of alizarin just to pet that up a little bit, bring it on down, and then I'm going to spray out the bottom section just a bit. <laughs> I didn't want it to dry in there, please don't dry in there. I have to lift that off both sides just to free that up. Okay, hopefully that we got away with that. Just going to bring that across a little bit though, and let that settle down. It looks like a very organic sway of a thundercloud. I'll take that off, lift that up a little bit, bring that up into there, dry that off. Got a bit of paint there I don't want. Dry that off, and now I'm going to come in with some indigo colour. thick paint now when you put it on this thick it can become sticky when damp so try not to go so thick that was a little bit of an error by me not a big problem but I have noticed that when you when I do a card and I've left a ginormous amount of paint in a big lump it will absorb moisture from the atmosphere and can dampen so just be uh, just be a little wary of that I like that I don't really want to do too much to it, just maybe this is when you've got to stop, you're going to know when to stop. I like what that's doing, I just love it. So I'm going to leave it, that's it, my head is telling me to stop. And there we have two sets of um, these beautiful new presents that we can either sell if we're at some sort of craft affair. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we want to have a product that we can re easily sell. You can buy cellophanes for these, I think, or you can make your own cellophane wrap to seal them, and you can put a little bit of individual card in the back just to suggest what they are. You could even write your name on the back. 
these will be signed by me at some point when they're all dry but you have 12 lovely bookmarks that you can give away to friends and family with a lot of love each one being absolutely individual to the other one and I think they make splendid gifts so I'm going to let those dry off now okay so I think you'll agree that it is really a very nice idea of creating a few gifts now I will go on uh, with this video for my patreon members and I am going to produce for them some uh, abstract card designs that they can then glue to a card format which is easily obtainable and it will give them yet a further idea now I'm not suggesting that you go over to patreon and sign up just to look at the extended version of this but it is there there are an awful lot of videos on my patreon that uh, for watercolors and there are two levels five and ten dollars at the moment and you can get involved in whichever level you want and I think there are uh, over 200 odd videos to enjoy so you get the full back catalogue and it doesn't cost you very much but this one will be over there and it may be in its fullest entirety I don't know how much of an edit I will do to it but at the same time the fuller version for my five dollar patrons will also be there showing them one or two other things that they can create as gifts and as cards for friends and family and it just remains for me to say to you guys that if you have enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe to the channel I noticed that only about half of those people that watch are actually subscribed the rest of you are not subscribed and it is it, there's no reason why you've got to be but it would be very nice if you could support the channel by subscribing and clicking that bell icon and also uh, ta hitting the notifications tab that's the one and that tells you every time I upload a new video I used to do one every week unfortunately time constraints don't allow me the luxury of doing one every week these days I do one as often as I can so by tapping on that notification tab it will tell you as and when I have a new video released ready for you to enjoy and if you have enjoyed this all the videos that I create on YouTube are for free and if you want to get involved and help a little bit by supporting the channel you can always buy me a coffee it's not got a price tag on it you don't have to do it regularly but some people find it in their heart that they know how much these things cost to paint and the paper and, the, and all the equipment and some people just dig a little deep and uh, and just sort of send me a few dollars here and there in by way of helping and every one of you who do that I really appreciate it it's very kind of you and every penny goes into more materials to keep me able to keep producing new videos for you and don't forget there are two courses over on my podia there is uh, one all about ink and wash and that's got many hours of stuff in I think it's about 47 pounds and I think there is the sky course which is 97 pounds that's much much bigger course but there's so much in there for you to get involved with and learn from so I look forward to having you on the course there but wherever you are stay safe have fun and enjoy yourself take care bye bye